hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial now we are going to look at the coding for uh, jlist with uh, image icon so before that we will uh, uh, have a quick glance of uh, what we saw in the previous part that means the part one so in the previous video we talk about the fruit model items so that's the class which will supply uh, data for each list item then we created a fruit model this fruit model is constructed based on these fruit model items fruit model will contain one or more instance of these fruit model items so this fruit model acts as a data model for our jlist that means this fruit model will supply the items to our jlist that means data it will supply the data to our jlist item so it extends from default list model and supplies data to our jlist next we talked about the list cell renderer and um, the list cell renderer interface function get list cell renderer component and we talked about what are all the parameter it will receive then we talked about fruit model painter that extends from jlabel that means the fruit model painter is a jlabel and that implements the interface list cell renderer so the jlist at runtime will make a call to get list center component and in inside we actually paint our jlabel with icon and string then we will uh, change the label background and we will draw focus right all those stuff so our jlist will be uh, getting data from model we already saw that in the previous slide then renderer which is here fruit model painter so it takes data from model and renders using the cell renderer component now we will go to the eclipse demo so now I'm, i am opening the eclipse oxygen So this is our main entry. We are creating the frame window and make it visible. Then in the frame window, we set the size and position. Then we will set the flow layout to it. If we run it, it will look like this. Inside this, we will create our J list and we will attach the uh, data model and uh, a cell renderer to the data jlist so to represent each uh, jlist item we need to create a class so i'm using the tube coding example package then choosing new class so our fruit model items will derive from uh, java.lang.object so if you see our fruit model contains uh, two class member one is a string and another one is image icon so image icon we will export it from java x dot swing package in the constructor we get fruit name as well as icon then we assign it to our internal members 
root name and icon. Then we have setter and getter function to retrieve the fruit name or to assign a new fruit name. Also, if you see, we have setter and getter for our image icon also. So this class will feed data for each list item. That means in each list item, we need an icon as well as fruit name. So fruit name and icon is supplied by these fruit model items. So this is actually list item and we named it as a fruit model items. Now we will go ahead and create our next class. fruit model this will extend from default list model we will eliminate this we don't want a generic implementation So it's uh, asking to add a serial. We instead we will ask to suppress this warning. And we will also ask to suppress this warning. Raw type to fruit model. So we added two suppress warnings. Next, we create our uh, constructor. If you see here, first we are creating fruit model items. Fruit model item already we created it here. We will import this image icon from swing package so here we specify c temp apple dot png if i go to c temp you can see we created a image icon for each fruit model item so for example let's take banana so the image is a 32 class 32 pixels 32 pixel wide and 32 pixel height so that will match with our list item so when we display the string here it will hold good but if we have image something big like this then our list item won't look good so let me close this and i'm choosing do not save so that it will stay on same size so if you see we have we are going to add eight fruit item and we have iconic image ready for all those eight items after creating the fruit item we have to add it to our default list model for that we are making call to add element method and we are supplying our uh, uh, fruit model item to that add element method so we already know that this default list model will feed the data to our uh, uh, JList. So if you make a call to add element 100 times, that means 100 elements will be given to our JList at runtime. So because this is our data model, this will supply data for our JList. So in the previous two video, I mean in the simple JList we saw that the array is feeding data to our uh, JList this time this uh, default list model derived class fruit model is going to supply data for our uh, JList for now we just created uh, instance for one fruit item like this we have to create it for other seven items so the code snippets are available in the description of this video that will direct you to Google Drive. Uh, you can do the copy paste or you can download that uh, uh, snippet file 
then copy paste or you can start typing the code here if you see we create other fruit items then we will add all the fruit items once our fruit model items are created we add it to the our to our default list model if you see here we added all our uh, instances So at this stage our uh, default list model is ready that means we derived from it and our class is a fruit model which is derived from default, default list model that contains 8 fruits. So this will supply the data at runtime. So for example let us take apple when it is supplying data for apple, apple is the instance of uh, a uh, fruit model item and fruit model item if you see one is a fruit name and another one is image icon next we need to create our uh, renderer we derive our renderer from jlable then we will implement the interface list cell renderer So I am suppressing this uh, warning raw type and this is asking you to implement an implemented method. Once I click that you can see get list cell renderer component. So this is the method we have to override. As already told it has all the parameters which we discussed in the slide of the previous part of this video. If you see here our fruit model painter, okay, we will add, uh, we will suppress that warning also. It's talking about serial, serial number we don't want at present. Our fruit model painter is derived from or extending from JLabel. That means this fruit model painter is actually a JLabel. And this JLabel or JLabel derived class is signing the contract to implement list cell renderer interface that means we end up implementing this method we will implement this soon before that we will have a constructor and in that constructor we will set the opac for our uh, jlabel because our painter is derived from jlabel so our painter is a jlabel actually so this will uh, be useful to draw the background suppose if you want to set a different background we need this set for back to true why we need to draw background because we not we need to show the selected item with a different background that means we want to change the background color of our jlabel so 
one jable label will have a background to denote the unselected item and another j label will have a different background to state that that uh, j label is uh, selected here the j label will act as the list item so at present we are returning null we will change that later first if you see here we are receiving the value right in the theory part uh, we already told we are already aware that this get list cell renderer component will be called for each list item j list item so when it is called for the j list item it will supply the data the data is here in the food model class there are totally eight list item we added it using the add element you can think this of a array how we fed our array to the simple j list and the j list displayed the array content the same way here add element is the data item for our list that means here we have eight item that means we will get this method will get called eight times why because our j list is uh, uh, constitute of uh, eight list item each list item is uh, fruit model item uh, that means the data part here we are doing the rendering part rendering part means how we want to present this uh, eight data this is the model and this is our view so model is containing eight and in view we are going to present that data uh, in a different format so for that we are using the label i mean j label so if you see from the value we are actually type casting it to a fruit model and we have a fruit model item this one we have in hand that means we have fruit name as well as icon so this class this renderer class is actually a j label and if you see this dot set text that means the renderer dot set text j label dot set text and we are supplying data from our fruit model retrieved one so we will get fruit name as apple then we get the corresponding icon also so this one we already saw in one of our video series how to add label and text to a j label the same concept we are using here since our uh, fruit model painter is actually a j label so we are making use of set text to set the text and set icon to set the icon next if you see here we are using this parameter is selected so this will be called for uh, uh, each list item then here we are checking uh, for the particular list item uh, which is in selected state or not so if it is in selected state we set the background color as black and foreground color as white that means we are inverting the inverting the background and foreground color so if it is not selected we will do the uh, opposite of this now we will set a different background color for the not selected list items so if you see selected list item background color is black foreground color is white but for normal item background color is white and foreground color is black we will import this from awt package we are using the color constants the parameter cell has focus that will tell whether the particular list item is in focus or not so if it is in focus we are drawing a border around the label remember our renderer is actually a j label here we are using the concept of a j label with border so this is also a prerequisite for this video so if you watched that video 
you won't see any trouble on this here we are using the water factory from java x when self has focus we are creating a line border and we are applying to that our uh, current j label so if it doesn't have any border then we are creating a empty border here now we are done with our list model as well as list renderer so the fruit model will supply data and fruit model painter knows how to render that data finally instead of returning the null we have to return this why because this instance is nothing but the uh, fruit model painter which is nothing but the j label so fruit model painter is j label with a extra capability of uh, uh, one function get list cell renderer component and when it is constructed it is constructed with uh, opax set to true okay model and the renderer is ready but we haven't yet created our j list for that we will go to our main entry no, not that one yeah the frame demo so here if you see first we are constructing our fruit model which is derived from uh, default uh, list model default list model next we are creating our uh, fruit model painter then we create a j list with our model which is fruit model now j list knows it's a data that's coming from this model instance the model instance if you see contains eight data then we set the renderer set cell renderer as our painter instance which is nothing but our fruit model painter which is uh, extended from j label and implements the cell renderer list cell renderer then as usual we set the visible row count as 4 that means even though the j list need to display 8 item it will show only four item in it after that we set multiple interval selection now it's run it's time to run it okay yeah quick recap we created our fruit model which supplies data we created a fruit model painter that performs rendering we create our j list as and our uh, fruit model for data then we set the cell renderer this is to perform uh, uh, custom uh, painting we set a visible row count as uh, four so that only uh, four list item get displayed remaining four can be seen through scrolling then we set a multiple interval selection this we saw previously so using the set selection mode we specified multiple interval selection next we add our list to the j scroll pan this is to perform scrolling then we add our j scroll pan to the control host so we are done with our j list with custom rendering now let us run it so you can see our uh, list box is displayed with uh, icon as well as uh, item now let me go with uh, multiple selection i'm holding the control key 
you can see how it changes the background color let me select one more holding the control key so let me select cherry twice and you can see which one is in focus so this is with normal background this is with background of uh, black and foreground of uh, white because this is selected item and cherry is selected as well as focused let me click lemon and I will click again so lemon is not selected but that is in focus so since each one is a label and you can see how we are using the jlabels functionality for each list item here each list item is actually a jlabel once it becomes a jlabel we use the jlabel to display the icon as well as uh, text then we use its broader border property to perform a border drawing this example has an issue if i use a uh, upper downward key you can see the selection are gone so it requires further implementation i am leaving it to you but the video served the concept of how you can use your own list rendering so that you can use any component as a renderer here we used j label you can use a j panel and the j panel may contain different layout and different component or combination of component a text box a radio button and some image and drawing then all those stuff packed inside one panel can serve as a single list item so each list item may produce a complex layout ui that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye